It's that time again. Time for 24 Minutes with Brady and Stacy. Uh, let's switch channels. This show is dull. You bet. 24 Minutes is all we have to talk about today's topics and news and views and listener suggestions. All that good stuff that Brady and Stacy have brought for years right here for you. We'll start a timer at the beginning of the show. 24 minutes. At the end of the timer, the show's done. It doesn't matter if we're solving world hunger or brokering for world peace. Once that buzzer goes off, we're done. Let's put this show out of its misery. (laughs) Now on with the show. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of 24 Minutes with Brady and Stacy. I'm Bob Brady. I'm Stacy Stern. Um, Before we came on today, there's probably a good four minutes of stuff that you're not going to ever hear. But we could just put on the, on the end of this and it'd be great. Someday we'll do, I'll just do like a mass when we need a show filler. I'll just do like a blooper reel of like. Just of us just. Free stuff. Shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Ziggy, set a timer for 24 minutes. 24 minutes starting now. Um, yeah. This guy here, this uh, smart speaker. Yeah. Uh, dumb. Like there's like, what did I say yesterday? Play my play my office tunes playlist. And he says what do you say? Shuffling your chill Christian. Chill Christian <laughs> playlist. And I so Heather's like, hmm, wonder what that's gonna throw at us. Like, I don't even I don't even listen to Christian music or chill Christian music. I was say, why do you even have I don't. a chill? Christian playlist. I think that's the bigger question. Why? I don't. But for Why? him to even think that that like I, I I know sometimes I can mumble. Like I get it. I did radio for 17 years. I don't know how I mumble. <laughs> but whatever. Um <clears throat> but I would like I say, hey, play my office. This is it. Hey, insert name here. Shuffle my office tunes playlist. Shuffling your chill Christian playlist. What the hell does that even mean? Like I didn't, I didn't even say, it. and then sometimes he'll just stop playing. Like yeah. he'll play three songs and be done. So I don't know Amazon what you're doing, but the speakers are getting dumber. Well, and here's the safety concern with a lot of those speakers is now other people can access them. <laughs> I know. So sure. they might have just been listening to the person down the street from you, and they're like, "Hey, hey, play." Ah, yeah. I want you. I want you to play that dude's Christian. Show. Troy likes chill Christian. Christian. Let's play that for Bob and Heather. <laughs> they need some some God in their lives. Let's play oh, some chill Christian for those two. Oh God. Um, yeah. So yeah. So anyway, uh, if you get a chance, if you get to listen to our before and after the actual show starts, I mean, it's gold. It's, I uh, have all the rough files. It's going to happen someday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're stored to the cloud. Good. When that yeah. cloud's not going anywhere. Ooh, I don't know. Speaking of clouds, did you know there's going to be a, what's it called? Tropical depression? Tropical storm? Well, it's a hurricane now. But it's <clears> be played Hurricane this. Hillary. Yeah, Hurricane Hillary. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to hit somewhere in Southern California, maybe Los Angeles, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, Mother Nature does what she wants. Yes. So, if it hits Los Angeles, right, it'll be the first tropical storm in how many years? Eighty-four years. Yeah, to hit Los Angeles. I speaking. I'm speaking to Heather off mic, by the way, in case you just think I'm talking. To my, you think right on my we, we all just know you're talking to yourself. Yeah, you're what talking to other Bob. Yeah, my other, my other, <laughs> my alter ego, Bob, smart Bob. I have all the answers. <laughs> other Bob. Heather Bob. Um. Yeah. So that's weird. Like that's so I've never heard of a hurricane in Los Angeles. It is not weird if you look at what's going on with our weather lately. Well, um, I don't know. Maybe there's this whole climate change thing going on that everyone's been trying to deny for I don't so, think so long. Now you're, now you're speaking bonkers. <laughs> now you're just talking cocky talk. I'm just top re- talking liberal bullshit right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. 84 years since it's hit Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. What are they gonna do? People go crazy. It's just going to be a windy rainstorm, I think. I know. Um, Nothing that we're not used to with blizzards or monsoons. Like, oh, come on. (laughs) Right? We have a week in our shoes. Yeah. we. I think the week that we were in Europe, thankfully, we had three, three, not one, not two, 
but three blizzards. Wow. <laughs> when yeah, yeah. we left, our sidewalk was cleared. When we got home, we had to carry our luggage over our heads because it was waist deep. Wow. Waist deep. And it was pure ice under there, too. So it was like, whoa, is this something out of a cartoon? We're like, whoa, whoa. Trying not to slip as we're carrying our luggage, tromping through waist deep snow with ice underneath. It's and it was at that water. point in time, I was like, you know, I really don't feel bad for anybody else in the world right now. Currently, I just can't. It's just like more severe weather. Like, it's not just it's like shocking. It's extreme. Weather. Yeah, extreme. absolutely extreme weather. Yeah. Like what's happening in Maui. But <clears throat> I think that's not I think that was started by that the, was fires. Uh, yeah, fires. Yep. Uh, what? Oh, the hurricane winds spawned it, says Heather Bob. Okay. My, my alter fun. ego. Smarter person than I am. <laughs> and then there's more uh, fires up in uh, the Northwest Territories of Canada. Canada's like, been burning for like two years, haven't they? Yes. Like, have they? When is the last time they didn't have a fire going know. on? But I so I was Insane. watching on TikTok this week. Like this, uh, there's a town there, Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories that's had to be evacuated. The whole city, and it's so remote up there. Like it's almost like probably living in North Dakota. It's so remote, you got to go three hours to get somewhere else to another town. Good and God. The, and the road that, that goes out of town is closed down. It's burned out. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, just I mean, like when you saw the videos of Hawaii burning, people were like, they, gonna they, go? had to, they had to make a choice. Either they yeah. were going to burn up on the interstate or highway they were on, or they were going to jump off the cliff into the ocean. Yeah. And they picked to jump off the cliff into the ocean. Aye, aye, like, aye. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, enough death and destruction. Let's talk about Kip Winger. <laughs> we should have a segment of how many penises Stacy has seen. That's a new that's a new segment. It's sponsored by Have you Viagra. seen this? Have you seen this penis? Have you seen this penis? Sponsored by Viagra. It's all about I now I've never seen any famous penises. Yeah, I <clears throat> we did radio in a time when um, kind of anything goes. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of like, let's protect women reporters or let's protect women broadcasters or let's protect let's women. Whip it out. And it's, and okay, now I'm going to preface this. I have never been like sexually harassed. I've never been sexually harassed, but it was just a very loosey goosey time of um, professionalism. Yes. In broadcasting and not on my part, my friend, I went back to simply do a radio interview and things just go awry. And I have seen and heard things backstage and maybe it's still that way. I don't do as much backstage, but it seems now like when I've done backstage for the radio station now, it is a different environment. They're much more protected. I suppose they don't want people like going off on social media or, or saying something. Um, where back in the day, you just really didn't have that. And it was kind of an understanding that whatever happens backstage stays backstage, yeah, yeah. I guess. Like um, where, yeah, where they really don't. I, I don't think that's probably a thing anymore in any industry or anywhere. You're, you're probably going to expect it's going to come out yeah. at some point in time. But yeah, but um, I have seen a decent amount of rocker. Cockers. It says rocker cockers. <laughs> I've seen rocker cockers. Yeah, I've seen. And we're not talking dogs. A lot. Yeah. Um, and they've not propositioned me or anything like that. It wasn't that way. It's just very. It's open. Yeah, this is my and it, it's this not is my just room. It's not just rock too. It's like when you cover sports stuff. When I. Oh, I've was, seen that. Yeah. Yeah. When I was backstage for the or backstage, when I was um at like training camp for the Green Bay Packers, like yeah. you just you just see it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think I've seen very many famous breasts. Oh, think about it. I've seen. Well, because here's the thing. I don't think I didn't ask for it. Well, it's not like not... I asked for a penis. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Hey, I know I'm back here to do a radio interview, but first, can, can I, get I 
Can I see Can your I get penis? a glimpse of it? I just want to get a glimpse of it. I just want to see if the stories are all true. <laughs> and then I'll report on it. Um, but women tend to not be as freewheeling and undressing backstage in front of people. I don't think as men are. Because let's put this in context. The reason that I have seen many, many <laughs> penis, I'm saying penis so much. Um, the reason I've seen so many of this over the years is because men do not have that filter. And usually when I'm backstage, they're getting dressed or they're getting ready or yeah. they're they just don't hanging out, they like don't literally just it. hanging out, walking around. And they're like, you're in our dressing room. Yeah. Expect to see our junk. You're going to see things that you may not want to see. Yes. Yeah. But we're going to sit there. So it's kind of like you're in our territory, reporter lady. If our junk is hanging out, that's kind of on you. Correct. Not literally on me. <laughs> it never went to that level. But um, that's on me for being backstage while they're getting ready and doing their thing. So I think so that's kind of the context it's in. It's not like they just whipped it out and are like, hey, do you want to see this? Because I would have been like, I will pass on that. Um, would, would you? Depending on who it is? Like, what if it's... Come on. Like, Depending on who that, it is, I guess. Not not, what, not married, like single Sturm. Single Finneman. Yeah, I suppose depending on it, just for like research and curiosity's sake. Research. Can I hold it? Let me see if I like this. Pretty good. No. <laughs> but yeah, so, <clears throat> so to put in context, often when we're backstage or when we're in a locker room or whatever, men are just walking around yeah. and they don't care. And you don't like, I try not to, in the case of um, when we were talking about Kip Winger in the case of Kip Winger, I tried, I tried not, not to, look. to look, but he, the topic was Kip Winger likes to show everybody his penis. Oh, and like on cue, Kip Winger decides to show me his penis and I could, feel him beside me oh my like, lord i can feel him beside me like closing in closing in and i was like, like jaws music's going yep. on and i'm and? trying not to look what'd you what'd you think everything they've said about it is it's true wowie now this is he is a he's a fortunate fella 35 years ago. So God only knows. What well, I don't, th I don't think it like goes, does it go away? I, does it shrink I, with age? I don't think it shrinks. It just may not work as well as it used to. Even if it works half as well as it oh, used to. I, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Probably okay. All right then. Um. <laughs> so Kip Winger, yes. Uh, Michael Bolton. No, he did not. <laughs> he, he gave us teddy bears. Don't you dare speak just, ill I'm of not, Michael just, Bolton. The, 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 Don't put that out there, Bob Brady. The, uh, he was a angel. He was an angel. The Michael segment's Bolton. called, Have You Seen This Penis? I gotta ask. The answer is no. He gave okay. us teddy bears and roses. It was amazingly sweet. Louis Anderson. <laughs> no. Uh, Buddy Epson. interview buddy Epson. yes remember we talked to jed clampett remember and it I was don't. we never played it because he was way gone but no that was, was mickey rooney they both were we didn't play we the buddy Epson. buddy Epson. we didn't yes. we did play like two seconds of mickey rooney i think Correct. okay uh mickey rooney had his, <clears throat> his penis no we okay. were um and that was a studio interview so we're okay who else Brett Joan Michaels? Jett. We've discussed this. Oh, Joan Jett was terrifying. Crazy. She was I, crazy. I was backstage with John Mechanic, the former head coach of the Bismarck yeah. Bobcats hockey team. And we walked up to her and mm -hmm. she was standing against the wall in leather. I was with you. Oh, yeah. Whipping her. We were getting ready to introduce them. Yes. We were going on to introduce the, the concert. 
whipping herself. <clears throat> leather vest, leather pants, riding crop. Yes. And this and was I bald said, Joan Jett. I said, hey, Joan, do you have a few minutes we can interview you? No. Okay. We'll just keep walking. Like, I was scared. Don't you remember the second part of that? She said no. And she said to, as we're standing there, she says to her tour manager guy, I think it was, um, I need to get effed. Do you remember that? As oh, she's yeah, whipping herself? That's right. Yes. She said, I need to get effed. And I said, Bob, there's your opening. Right. Bob, there's your opening. I just kept walking. And she says, not him. And Whatever. looked at me. Oh. Remember, right. she was in she yeah, was into, she was into yeah. ladies at the time. And she still is. Like I think she's I don't think that's I, changed. Yeah, she probably yeah. was a fad. It wasn't, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, she don't give a damn about her reputation. No, she does not. But yeah. Uh yeah. So you have not seen Joan Jett's penis. Oh, you probably although you may have. No. If if the timing I, um, were right. You could have. Looking back on it, I almost wished. That, that would have been could. the one I that I took up on oh, the wow. offer. <laughs> yeah, looking back now. Yeah. Um, let's see. Who else? Brett Michaels done that. I mean. Um that's it. It's a tough subject. No. no. Um I, I know there's more. I just don't want to delve delve into that. Yeah, there that, is uh, treasure trove of secrets. <laughs> there's there's two there are two more but i will not discuss those because that was pre-marriage what young stacy i know one of them yeah you do you do yeah um so we were talking last week after we got done with the show too we got done recording the podcast was like we're tired and we're yeah <laughs> We we're tired. over. We're over it. We're just done. So yesterday we, we recorded a podcast uh, for Cancer Convos. And Stacy says, I just want to go work at McDonald's. And I said, that's offensive to people that work at McDonald's. And Stacy says, I worked there. I, I worked. I did work at McDonald's for f- four or five years. Yeah. I was a, I was like a night manager there. And I loved it. You'd go back? In a heartbeat. Here's the thing. You'd give up everything you have right now. Yeah. To go back and work at McDonald's. Yeah. Wow. That wasn't even any hesitation. No. If it was a good job. Like, I don't want to do fries. Fries was a nightmare. I'm not going to lie. Fries is not a good time. And they always start you out on fries. But um, the reasoning, and we were talking about this, is like, I am so tired of just constantly troubleshooting and being in charge of things. And it, it's a 24-7, my life is 24-7 radio station, podcasting, clients, con- events. It's constant. You're just tired of adulting. And it's, yeah, it's not that I'm making like $150,000 a year. If I was no. making like $200,000 a year at this, I get it. But um, then, yes, I would keep that. But I am paying my bills. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I it's know. not like I'm going on elaborate. I'm not buying things. I'm not going on elaborate vacations. And my life is 24-7 dedicated to two businesses. I own this business. And then I also own a bar. Uh, for people that don't know, I also own a bar restaurant with my boyfriend and it's, um, and I like to run both at at a reasonably high level, which is more pressure. I feel like if I were just like F it, it would be okay. But since I do care about both businesses so much, it's constant, it's 24 seven, it's constantly going. And I just, yeah, it gets to be a lot. I I'm give it all up. I would. Mm Mm-hmm. To go be like a uh, night manager at McDonald's. And deal with all the crap that those kids will give you? It wasn't that bad. That so it was back then. Kids are different now. Yeah. But um, for the most part, 
everybody that worked there. And if you've ever worked in fast food, you know, for the most part, you do have to deal with people that just don't show up. So you just yeah. fire them. You're like, well, sorry, George is gone. Like Pete didn't show up. So Pete's gone. You're not on the schedule. You call Pete. Hey, guess what? You you no call, no show. You're good. We're done. Find yourself another gig. And they're usually like, okay. <clears throat> the only thing that I did have to deal with is there was sometimes like the employees would have like a disgruntled boyfriend or somebody that would come in or was stalking yeah. them or we got robbed. We almost got robbed one night, but I thwarted that. I thwarted the robbery. But um, for the most part, uh, it was pretty easy breezy, very low maintenance, very few headaches. And I really just kind of, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it when I was doing it. It was just fun. You're just, you're giving people food. That's it. And people are, and like, it's not, they're not expecting that you're going to serve them a five-star Michelin meal. So if the cheeseburger is a little bit off that day, people are still going to eat it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. They're still going to eat it. They're not expecting that the um that they're going to get a uh, a Michelin plated meal. They're fine if their Big Mac is, does not have as much lettuce on it. Will they complain? Actually, no. <laughs> they, don't, they don't even complain. The only time they complain is if you're missing something from their order. Correct. And here's the fix on that. Oh, so sorry. We can either give you a gift card or you could just come in and grab it if you're still in the area. It. That's it. Would, would you introduce the famous Thomas Moriarty's charcuterie boards to the McDonald's oh, menu? God. No. I got to tell you, yeah. if I see one more post on that Facebook page about those charcuterie boards... <laughs> Or charcuterie, however the hell you say it, I'm gonna go nuts. Charcuterie? Why? I mean, Why? I want to eat one. I want to eat one, and I can't. Like, I can make my own charcuterie board. I'm like, you can just you... make them. I, it's yeah. true. Not For the, the people that say like, and there's a lot of people now that do like home catering of like charcuterie yeah, boards and stuff. I can cut up bologna. We have special meats and cheeses that we order in. Yeah, like I we can't. order them through uh, some couple importing companies where the it's killer. Like that meat and cheese, you're not yeah. going to get it anywhere else. It's just out. It I is can't, great. I can't. I right. So uh, yeah, how much is your least expensive charcuterie board? Uh, fifteen. What does it come with? It comes with. It's called Pick Five. So you can pick any five combination of meats and cheeses. Maybe you want four cheeses and one meat. Do it. You want four meats, one cheese. Do it. You want all meats. Do it. All cheeses. Do it. Doesn't matter. Pick five. Right. And it feeds What's... two people. Relative. I I feel like it feeds a lot of people. Order it as like a personal charcuterie board, but I feel like it could feed two, if you if you're not like super hungry. What's the markup on one of those things? Like, what do you guys make in the back end? So ask, I pay about out. an ounce and a half. I we like we like to get meats and cheeses where we pay about an <clears throat> a dollar uh, under two dollars is kind of what I like to do for an ounce to an ounce and a half serving. Wow. Yeah. And how many pieces of meat is that? Um, depends for like the salami for the chorizo, like the chorizo, it's a smaller sausage. Not we a, yeah. it's like a whole handful. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I'm not eating chorizo. Uh, why? It's like pepperoni. Do you not like pepperoni? It's a different it's like thing. pepperoni. No, it's, not, it's not like pepperoni. It's spicy. Oh, so it's pepperoni. Not that much. Chorizo is not spicy, spicy. It just tastes like pepperoni. The good stuff uh. you get imported is. Um, but then like our soppressata, it's a little bit bigger. That's usually like eight, eight slices. If you get the Rosette de Leon, that's like 12 slices. Um, so yeah, so it's like, it's a, you get a good amount. All right, I did meat. So, yeah. I'm just just wondering what what kind of kind you're robbing these people. <laughs> so we probably robbing them in Mandan for the charcuterie board because the board comes out. It's like, oh my goodness, this is amazing, and yeah. then it's like seventy five dollars, and I have no. three pieces of meat. No, that's <laughs> not the way it works. <laughs> oh, where am I? I thought I was in Paris. Nope, you're in Mandan. <laughs> you're you're in Mandan, North Dakota. You're in Paris, North Dakota. You're in Paris, North Dakota. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Thomas Moriarty is like, it's a great place. It's, yeah, it's, thanks. 
Well, it's but much different than anywhere else in we, uh, Bismarck Mandan. We do hold it to a higher standard, and that sucks. Yes. That's great for you guys. It's a lot of stress for us because <laughs> we don't get to half ass it. We don't, <sighs> we just don't get to because people come there expecting a certain thing. It's not yeah. like if you have a dive bar, kids, people will just, you could, you oh. could throw in the worst whiskey. Ah, uh, did it go off? There he is. Did now it. he works. See, now he works. When the timer's up, he works. All right, play some chill Christian for me, will you? Um, okay, so we talked about penis and meat, and we went and, and kind of uh, the same thing. Uh, kind of the same thing in uh, Rockers Cockers. So yeah, what more do you want out of a, of a show for twenty four minutes of your life? There you go. And we also uh, had Heather Bob give us details about the uh, hurricane the that hurricane. may or may not happen. So we wrapped up your news. Yeah, we got and current happen. events. Yeah, all and, within twenty four uh, minutes. Pop culture. Yes. Yeah. And a lifestyle with food and food and drink. Correct. Yeah. It's charcuterie boards. Correct. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, hold on. All right. Well, that's the show. Sorry, I'm dropping things on my desk. Um, have a great week. Bye now. Thanks for listening to 24 Minutes with Brady and Stacy. That was the worst thing I ever heard. It was terrible. It was horrendous. Well, it wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah? Oh, there were parts of it I liked. Yeah, I liked a lot of it. Yeah, it was good. It was great. It's wonderful. Oh, bravo.